Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial. I'm Max and this is a new tutorial where we are going to create a weather app for iOS. And what you just have to do at the beginning of this tutorial is to download this icon set, which is a simple weather icon set and you can find it over at Sketch App TV. Just head down to the description of this video where I placed the download link, which is this one and you can grab it for free. Okay, so let's get right into this. We simply create a new artboard, hit A and, oops, no, we just hit A and select one of these artboards right here. Let's go for the iPhone 6 one and I call it weather app. What we do now is to grab a nice background photo and I already searched for some background photos on Unsplash. So simply grab one of, the, one of them and paste it onto your artboard. Of course we have to make it smaller now. Let's find a nice size so we have a nice balanced background photo. I really like the colors of this photo, so that's why I just went for this one. But you can of course just grab the photo you like most. Like this. So now we have this uh, background photo. We have our simple weather icons. But we also need the material uh, design icons, which I actually use for every design. The link to the, them is also down in the description below. I would like to start out with a title, which is basically the title of the city that we are currently in. Let's choose a nice font. And I simply give it the name of my city, the city that I'm currently living in. Let's make the size of it a little bit small, uh, bigger. And let's center it up. We also need the status bar and we grab it from the template that is coming with Sketch, which is this one. Simply copy it and paste it onto your artboard like that. I would like to make it white so simply get back to it and copy a white version like that. Boom, there we have it. And now let's place our title in a nice position. I opened up the icon set so we can uh, select a back icon so maybe you can use this back arrow to go back to your uh, index screen where you have all your cities that you want to uh, add or that, that is overview of cities that you can select. And we can also use for example a settings icon which is here. Let's make both of them white and let's drag it up to our desired position. Which is this one. So now let's add some basic information of the current weather and the current temperature just on this um, left side and on the right side we could add an icon of our uh, weather icon file that is showing the current sun or clouds or something like that. So I just copy this headline and we say currently it's for example Monday and May 3rd. can reduce the size a bit 
and let's copy it again and now we just uh, display the current degrees so maybe it's five degrees or in my case it's actually degrees Celsius so it's currently about 19 degrees not sure how is 19 degrees Celsius Ah, okay so if you're from the US or something this is your degree number um, and this is degree Celsius let's make this really big and we can also say we want to have less character spacing like that let's move the layer up and here we have our current day and the current temperature so let's move on and let's add an icon a weather icon on this right side currently it's actually about like this let's just copy this folder and paste it on our right side of course let's also make this bigger again like this and we can say we want all these uh, simple shapes to have a different color we could go for a nice orange color we could also just use one of these right here and just make them lighter we could also make them darker so let's figure out which color we will use I like this one and we add another text layer at the bottom or below this icon and this is showing the wind speed which is currently like this let's select both these layers and let's uh, position them so it's it looks nice like that okay so that's basically the top part and now we will create a bottom part which will we um, which we will uh, place in such a rectangle which will be white and of course less opacity I still have no idea, no clue how this background blur actually works which is kind of annoying because I as a user I think just uh, place like a rectangle over a background image or something like that and simply uh, click on background blur so I don't really know what's the reason why this isn't working like that maybe you have a solution for that I re really don't have a solution maybe you can write it down in the comments below for me to really get how this works okay so we just uh, skip this step and use a normal rectangle that is just um, of like 35 degrees of uh, opacity at uh, the percentage so 35 percent and now let's play some content here and I would like to display the current uh, the upfalling days which is actually wrong right here we have Tuesday today and let's maybe just copy this layer and let's place it in this new group because we will list 
the upcoming days. Like this. So we will have Wednesday the 4th. And so on. So we just do that. Like that. And let's simply change the line height. So we just uh, display four days, which is enough for this example. We will now place um, these icons, these weather icons, next to our date. And we will also add the temperature, which is the average temperature of this day, for example. And let's just use uh, or copy some of these um, icons like that. Oops. So here we have them. And now let's uh, also just use the color that we used at the top. So maybe just select the color palette and go for this one. I just copy it for now so we can paste it much faster into our sheet. Actually, maybe we can even fill it. Oops. No, we can't. So simply select all of these layers. I thought you may be able to copy this uh, directly, but just select them or just uh, copy this color code. Like that. Now let's open up a grid so we get the center of our text to center up the icons. Okay, let's center them up. Like this. And now let's also add the temperature, just copy the day text layer and let's just copy, uh, let's just write in temperatures that are maybe matching the weather somehow. So I will just go for these temperatures right here. Like that. There we have them. Maybe let's select all of these layers and let's position them in the center. Like that. And that's basically the result of our weather app. So I hope you like this little tutorial on creating a simple but good looking beautiful weather app and if, of course if you haven't subscribed yet just do that with this red button below the video and thank you for your time. 
You find all the download links down in the description and of course I would like to see a rating of this video and if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below. So thank you for your time guys and see you soon for the next video.